Like many of you, I just heard the news about what happened at the holiday parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Uh, it's just about 100 miles from here where I live in Appleton. Uh, I saw the footage of the red SUV f flying down a, a busy street, and then I, I read the news of what happened next. Uh, it's sobering to think about. There's a, a holiday parade in my city just tomorrow night, and I, I can't imagine if it was one of my friends or one of my kids. You know, when things like this happen and we read an, another headline of another tragedy, we, we ask the question, why? Like, why do senseless things like this happen? Why do we try to take our family to the bright spot of the week and it turns so, so dark? And that's actually a question we ask about a lot of things in life. Why, why do we deal with anxiety or depression? Why do some of us like, not have parents who stuck together? Why do we go through the deaths of people we love who die way too young? We have, we have all these questions about our personal pain. And I don't know if it's just a, a coincidence or it's God's perfect timing, but last night at our church, we wrapped up a six-week sermon series on the book of Job, a book where we ask huge questions, like why certain things happen to certain people. And what I took out of my study of that part of God's word was this simple sentence, we don't know why, but we do know who. We just don't know why things happen the way they do. There's no page in the Bible. There's no special knowledge that pastors have. There's just some mysterious things that God has not revealed. We, we don't know why that accident happened here in Wisconsin. But we do know something. We know who. We know who God is. We know what God is like. We know that God cares about us when we're hurting. We know that he's present when we're suffering. We know that he has plans to end our pain forever. And most importantly, we know that he is with us to forgive us and save us when life does not make sense. So today I can't offer any explanation for what happened in the state I love so much, but I, I can share with you this. These are the words of Psalm 46 that remind us who God is. God is our refuge and our strength an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, be still and know that I am God. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. I wish I knew the reasons why. I don't. But I do know who. I know that God is with you. I know that Jesus is coming soon. And I know that his Holy Spirit will help us through it. So may you process another tragedy today with hope and with peace. Even though you don't know why, you do know who.